We warmly welcome you to our service at the parish of St. John Christostom, Peckham. It is Pentecost Sunday, the year 2020. Due to COVID-19, the Church of England has advised against congregating in buildings to prevent the spread of the virus. However, we can fellowship together in words and sacraments spiritually from our different homes. May God bless us all. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grace, mercy, and peace from God our Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you, and also with you. Hallelujah, Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ, whom we worship, is our crucified, risen, and ascended Lord. And we have walked with him through his journey of love. We have faced the agony of his suffering and death on the cross. We have rejoiced at his bursting free from the bonds of death. We have enjoyed his risen presence with us and his revelation of himself through the breaking of bread. We have seen his return to the throne before which every knee shall bow, and every tongue confess that this Jesus is Lord. And now, with the followers of his own time, we are with the coming of the promised Holy Spirit, his gift to his people, through whom we make Christ known to the world. As we wait in silence, fill us with your Spirit. As we listen to your word, fill us with your Spirit. As we worship you in majesty, fill us with your Spirit. As long as we long for your refreshing, fill us with your spirit. As we long for your equipping, fill us with your spirit. As we long for your renewing, fill us with your spirit. As we long for your empowering, fill us with your spirit. Amen. The glory. Glory to God in the highest and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. The Collect and the Readings for Pentecost Sunday. Let us pray. God, who has at this time taught the hearts of your faithful people, by sending to them the light of your Spirit. Grant us by the same Spirit to have a right judgment in all things, and evermore to rejoice in this holy comfort, through the merit of Christ Jesus our Savior, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. A reading from Acts, the Apostles. Acts 2 verses 1 to 8. When the day of Pentecost had come, they were all together in one place, and suddenly from heaven there came a sound like a rush of violent wind, and it filled the entire room where they were all sitting. The violent tongues, as a fire, appeared among them, and a tongue rested on each of them. All of them were filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other language. As the Spirit gave them the ability, now there were devoted Jews from every nation on the heaven living in Jerusalem. And as this sound, the crowd gathered and was bewildered, because each one had heard them speaking in the native language of each. Amazed and astonished, they asked, are there not all those 
who are speaking Gadolean? And how is that we heard each of us in our own native language? This is the word of the Lord. O oh Lord, how manifold are thy works! In wisdom hast thou made them all. The earth is full of thy riches. So is this great and wide sea, wherein are things creeping innumerable, both small and great beasts. I will sing to the Lord as long as I live. There go the ships, there is that left them, whom thou hast made to play therein. These wait all upon thee, that thou mayest give them their meat in due season. I will sing to the Lord as long as I live. That thou givest them they gather, thou open thy hand, they are filled with good. Thou hidest thy face, they are troubled. Thou takest away their breath, they die and return to their dust. I will sing to the Lord as long as I live. Thou sendest forth thy spirit, they are created, and thou renewest the face of the earth. The glory of the Lord shall endure forever. The Lord shall rejoice in his works. I will sing to the Lord as long as I live. He looked on the earth and it trembled. He touched the hills and they smoked. I will sing unto the Lord as long as I live. I will sing praise to my God while I have my being. I will sing to the Lord as long as I live. My meditation of him shall be sweet. I will be glad in the Lord. Let the sinners be consumed out of the earth and let the wicked be no more. Bless thou the Lord, O my soul. Praise ye the Lord. I will sing to the Lord as long as I live. A reading from Corinthians 1, 12, verses 3 to 13. Therefore, I want you to understand that no one speaking in the Spirit of God ever says, Jesus is accursed, and no one can say Jesus is Lord except in the Holy Spirit. Now there are a variety of gifts, but the same Spirit. And there are a variety of service, but the same Lord. And there are varieties of activities, but it is the same God who empowers them all in everyone. To each is given the manifestation of the Spirit for the common good. For to one is given through the Spirit the utterance of wisdom, and to another the utterance of knowledge according to the same Spirit, to another faith by the same Spirit, to another gifts of healing by the one Spirit, to another the working of miracles, to another prophecy, to another the ability to distinguish between spirits, to another various kinds of tongues, to another the interpretation of tongues. All these are empowered by the one same Spirit, who apportions to each one individually as he wills, one body in many members. For just as the body is one and, and many members, and all the members of the body through many, are one body. So it is with the Christ, for the one spirit, we are all baptized into the one body. Jews or Greeks, slaves or free, and all were made to drink of the one spirit. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful people and kindle in them the fire of your love. Hallelujah. The Lord be with you and also be with you. Hear the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to St. John chapter 20 verse 19 to 23. Glory to you, O Lord. On the evening of day one of the week, when the disciples were together, with the doors locked for the fear of the Jewish leaders, Jesus came and stood amongst them and said, Peace be with you. After he said this, he showed them his hands and side. The disciples were overjoyed when they saw the Lord. Again, Jesus said, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, I am sending you. And with that, he breathed on them and said, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive anyone's sins, their sins are forgiven. If you do not forgive them, they are not forgiven. This is the gospel of the Lord. 
praise to you, O Christ. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We commemorate today the descent of the Holy Spirit upon the apostles of Christ, and by influence on the church as a whole. The church celebrates this event 50 days after Easter, hence the name Pentecost, which is a Greek word meaning 50s. The event is also called Witch Sunday, and this is derived from the white robes worn by baptismal candidates on Pentecost Day. Pentecost, as it, as it were, was the fulfillment of the promise of Jesus Christ to the apostles that they will be filled with power from above. Acts chapter 1, verses 4 and 5. This outpouring of the Holy Spirit on the apostles happened on a day when many Israelites, some from the diaspora, had gathered in Jerusalem to celebrate the Jewish festival of harvest. The event was a mystery because in it, the third person of God in three persons was once more manifested to the world in the form of tongues of fire which rested on the apostles. It demonstrated God's faithfulness concerning his promises and in this instance, the fulfillment of the promised Holy Spirit power on us. It was equally a demonstration of God's manifold works. We can look at the psalm which we have read today, talking about the manifold works of God. It was also a manifestation of God's presence and power with his church. That power has enabled the church to stand as a believing community down the centuries. At Pentecost, the church was given a gift and a power through whom we make Christ known to the world via mission and evangelism. But apart from Pentecost, in every place, at different times and in diverse ways, the Holy Spirit power is given to anyone who receives Christ as Lord and Savior and are baptized in Him. Acts of the Apostles, chapter 2, verse 38. For the promise given to us is for us and for our children. By means of the power of the Holy Spirit, God, God dwells in such individuals through the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. For he who is in us is greater than he who is in the world. By the power of the Holy Spirit, we are empowered and commissioned to proclaim the power and authority of God over all things, and also the new life of Christ to all nations. As we reflect on the Pentecost event, God's role in giving the power of the Holy Spirit to his people and in adding 3,000 converts to the church in one day come to mind. Acts of the Apostles, chapter 2, verse 40 to 42. As Pentecost unfolds in our individual daily life and in the life of the church, we, like the apostles, have our own part to play, namely, to always wait upon the Lord, to cooperate with Him and be available for God's mission in our world. Go into the world and make disciples of all nations. Matthew chapter 28, verse 18. The Holy Spirit power is indispensable if we are to play our part effectively. Thanks be to God. By means of the Holy Spirit, we receive various gifts. The gift of wisdom, the gift of knowledge, the gift of healing, prophecy, teaching, and many other gifts to enable us to carry out the task entrusted to us. So do not receive this grace of God in vain. As we embark upon this great commission, we have the assurance that the Holy Spirit, who has been breathed on us, John chapter 20, verse 19, is always with us and keeping us, whatever our experiences might be. The Holy Spirit is with us to guide us, to remind, to teach, to convince, to sanctify, to strengthen, to comfort, and to glorify God in us. So we are enabled to discern the mind of God. 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 1 follow, and to say, Abba, Father. The privilege of Pentecost calls for true Christian living. 
for Christian witness, Christian work, and triumph. It is not by flesh, but by the Spirit of God. You have the Spirit of God in you. Are you baptized in the Lord Jesus Christ and with the Holy Spirit to do the work entrusted to us at Pentecost? Desire this power of the Holy Spirit and ask for the power of the Holy Spirit and you will be given. Amen. Let us affirm our faith in the words of the Nicene Creed. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not me, of what being with the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, was incarnate from the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and was made man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, suffered death, and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sin. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us pray for the church and for the world. Let us thank God for his loving kindness to us all. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The response to the prayer is, and fill us with your spirit. Our dear Father in heaven, we thank you for the gift of today, the Pentecost Sunday. Generous God, we thank you for the power of your Holy Spirit. We ask that we may be strengthened to serve you better. We thank you for your church. We pray for Archbishop Justin, Bishop Christopher, Bishop Carol Wayne, Archdeacon Jane, Father Emmanuel, Father Kayode, and their families. We pray for Dorothy Bascom, Janipa and their families. We pray for the whole Church of God, for renewal with the power of the Holy Spirit, and for courage in our proclamation of the Gospel. Lord, come to bless us and fill us with your Spirit. We thank you for the wisdom of your Holy Spirit. We ask you to make us wise to understand your will. Lord, come to bless us and fill us with your spirit. We thank you for the peace of your Holy Spirit. We ask you to keep us confident of your love wherever you call us. Lord, come to bless us and fill us with your spirit. We thank you for the healing of your church. We ask you to bring reconciliation and wholeness where there is division, sickness and sorrow, Lord, come to bless us and fill us with your spirit. We pray for the sovereign. We pray for all nations. We pray for all rulers in the world. We pray for Elizabeth, our queen, and the royal family. Those in authority in our land, this parish, for all medical personnel, transporters, all who work for the common good. We pray for the world at these challenging times. We pray for an end to COVID-19 pandemic. Bring healing to all people, Lord. We pray for all other people who are experiencing deadly diseases, poverty, wars, injustice, and equality. Lord, come to bless us and fill us with your spirit. We thank you for the gifts of your Holy Spirit. We ask you to equip us for the work which you have given us. We pray for the sick and the needy. We remember in our prayers 
Sarah, Donna, Gilbert, Doggo, High Saint Paul, Betsy, Rosemary, Eric, Dorothy, Louise, Marian, Doreen, Ellen, Rhonda Farry, and all those known only to God. Lord, come to bless us and fill us with your spirit. We thank you for the fruit of your Holy Spirit. We ask you to reveal in our lives the love of Jesus. Lord, come to bless us and fill us with your spirit. We pray for the departed and their anniversaries. For the recently departed, we pray for Joseph Common and those whose anniversaries of death are at this time. We remember with thanks Ada Rogers, Ethel Brown, Alfred John, Violetana, and Nick Hardwell. Eternal rest, grant them, O Lord, and let light perpetual shine upon them. May they rest in peace and rise in glory. And we thank you for the breath of your Holy Spirit, given us by the risen Lord. We ask you to keep the old church, living and departed, in the joy of eternal life. Lord, come to bless us and fill us with your spirit. Generous God, you sent your Holy Spirit upon your Messiah at the River Jordan and upon the disciples in the upper room. In your mercy, fill us with your Holy Spirit. Hear our prayer and make us one in heart and mind to serve you with joy forever. O oh Lord, come to bless us and fill us with your spirit. Amen. God has made us one in Christ. He has set his seal upon us, and as a pledge of what is to come, has given the Holy Spirit to dwell in our hearts. Hallelujah. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us offer one another a sign of peace. Of bread and wine, 
be victorious in the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, who in the same night that he was betrayed took bread, gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take it. This is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. The same way after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Bring this all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. And so, Father, calling to mind his death on the cross, his perfect sacrifice made once for the sins of the old. Rejoicing in his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, and looking for his coming in glory, we celebrate this memorial of our redemption. As we offer you this our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, we bring before you this bread and this cup. We thank you for granting us for thee to stand in your presence and serve you. Send the Holy Spirit on your people, to gather into one, into one in your kingdom, or we share this one bread with one cup. That we, in the company of the Blessed Virgin Mary, St. John, Mr. Stoneman, St. Andrew, and all the saints, may praise and glorify you forever. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom and with whom and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory be yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. They made one by the power of the Spirit. Let us pray with confidence as our Savior has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Thy is the kingdom, the power of the glory, forever and ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, because we all share in one bread. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. Hallelujah, Christ our Passover is sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Faithful God, fulfill the, fulfill the promises of Easter by sending us your Holy Spirit and opening to every race and nation the will of eternal life. Open our lips by your Spirit, that every tongue may tell of your glory. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, we thank you for feeding us with the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, we offer you our souls and bodies to be a living sacrifice, 
send us out in the power of your spirit to live and work to your praise. Today being Pentecost Sunday, we will light candles to remind us of the light of Pentecost and that power given to us in the Word of God. Blessed are you, sovereign God, by flowing in love with Pentecost dawns the gain of the Spirit. Now the flame of heaven rests on every believer, strong and weak, women and men. Tell out your word. The young receive visions, the old receive dreams. With the new wine of the Spirit, they proclaim your reign of love. Amid the bad patterns of the new creation, the way of light is made known. Source of freedom, giver of life, blessed are you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. Amen. For 50 days, we have celebrated the victory of our Lord Jesus Christ over the power of sin and death. We have proclaimed God's mighty acts, and we have prayed that the power that was set at work when God raised Jesus from might be at work in us also. As part of God's church here at St. John Chrysostom, Peckham, I call upon you to live out what you proclaim. Empowered by the Holy Spirit, will you dare to walk in God's future, trusting Him to be your God? By the Spirit power, we will. Will you dare to embrace each other and work together in love? We will. Will you dare to share your riches in common and minister to each other in need? We will. Will you dare to pray for each other until your hearts beat with the longings of God? We will. Will you dare to carry the light of Christ into the world's dark places? We will. The Lord is here. His Spirit is with us. Today we have remembered the coming of God's power on the disciples, and we invite that same spirit to drive us out into the wild places of the world. Let us bow this for God's presence. May the spirit who honored over and over the waters when the world was created breathe into you the life he gives. Amen. May the spirit who overshadowed the virgin when the eternal Son came upon among us, make you joyful in the service of the Lord. Amen. May the Spirit who set the church on fire upon the day of Pentecost bring the whole world to life with the love of the risen Christ. Amen. The blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you and all your loved ones this day and always. Amen. Filled with the Spirit's power, go in the light and peace of Christ. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah.